Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. So I'm going to do a part two of the spinner videos today. I'll show you guys a couple different brands and a few different offerings from those brands. Um, now before we jump into that, um, the question in the last video kept coming up, what are spinners, what are they for? Um, and I assume the answer was self-evident, but it clearly is not. So um, a spinner is something that you essentially spin or play with while you're on the phone or watching TV or sitting through a lecture or a conference call, um, whatever it may be, it's something to fidget with. And you know, who does this work for? And a lot of different people, if you or someone you know sits there at work or in class and clicks a pen uh, relentlessly, then you're a fidgeter and perhaps one of these would work for you. Or if you're someone who uh, taps your fingers Again, in class, at work, on the phone, whatever, bites your nails, um, you know, bounces their leg or whatever. Um, those are all fidgeting habits and it helps people to focus on a specific, uh, you know, topic or a specific purpose, uh, be it learning new content or, you know, just focusing on a phone call. So that's what spinners are. That's what they're for. Hopefully that explains it for most of you. If you still don't get it, uh, sorry. So anyways. Um, in the last video, I did show you guys this one from Restless Hand Toys. And um, again, I'll put the links down in the description box below to um, all of the different companies here so you guys can go and find them. Um, after my initial video, this uh, company essentially sold out and they were sold out for quite some time. So uh, we'll move that one out of the way. And uh, let's go through a couple different ones here. So let's start with uh, these ones from uh, Quicks Spinner. Um, so Quick Spinner has a couple different models. These are all 3D printed and we'll start with the Bad Biker. So 3D printed body. Um, this one does use ceramic bearings, comes with stainless steel as well. And it has a motorcycle chain around the outside for some additional weight and interest. So as far as the specs on this particular one, um, it has a diameter of about 2 and 5 eighths inches. It is about three-fourths of an inch high, weighs in at 4.6 ounces, and depending on the uh, bearings you go with, these are about 45 to 52 bucks. So um, really cool design, really intricate detail on the 3D printing there. As you guys can see, a lot of, uh, a lot of work went into programming that, I'm sure. And it does have raised finger pads, so makes it easier to spin, or you can set it on a table and spin it. Um, this is obviously one of the larger models, so yeah. The bearings are uh, pre-lubed, so you shouldn't need to really do any maintenance on them. And again, the link will be down in the description box below, so yeah. Really cool, really big. Uh, spin times on this one are actually over five minutes for a two-handed spin. Uh, one-handed spin, probably about, oh, I don't know, maybe around half that time, but um, this one's really neat. Also from Quick Spinners is the Triple Chrome. So uh, it has three different arms, does use some uh, chromed stainless steel balls for weight at the end. Does have raised uh, finger pads as well, so you can spin it on a table or just in your hand. Now this one has a diameter of two and five eighths inches. It's again, three quarters of an inch tall. Um, the average spin time on this one is about 2 minutes and 45 seconds, and it weighs in at 2.6 ounces. Depending on the, the uh, bearings you go with, it's either about 35 to 42 bucks. So, and again, lots of uh, intricate 3D printing. Different colors available, so you can go check those out, but black, I think like white, silver, a bunch of different options for colors on both of these from Quick Spinners. Um, another interesting one, this is made by a guy on Instagram named Tomalock, and again, link will be down below. But what makes his a little different is he put a ball here into the spinner, and so it makes it, um, so you have to try to balance it on your hand, create some additional focus on it. Um, it also lets you spin it essentially like a top here, so it's kind of one of the added benefits of that little ball placed in the center of the bearing. Um, this one weighs in at 1.9 ounces, diameter is about 2.6 inches, it's about uh, 0.42 inches tall, including the uh, bead here, and these retail from about 25 to 30 bucks, so 
another interesting one here. Now the last one I'm going to show you guys in this video, this is the Troika, and it is made by Polaris AT, but um, the distributor is Premium Spinners out of the U.S. here. And what makes this one a little bit different is one, um, this one's actually glow-in-the-dark, but they do have a lot of different colors and different glow-in-the-dark colors available. And this one is a plastic mold injected, whereas the other ones were 3D printed, so, um, you know, slightly different uh, build process, but uh, this one's really, really good for like one handed manipulation. Um, it does use, uh, you know, chrome stainless steel balls here. Diameter is about 2.3 inches. This one is, um, I guess, at the ball ends here, about 0 0.47 inches tall. The bearings on this one are ABEC rated stainless steel bearings, and these ones retail for about uh, 50 bucks. Um, the best spin time on this one I think was approaching about three minute mark for a two-handed spin But as you can see it spins quite freely and easily um, Just with one hand manipulation. So anyways, those are a couple different options um, among the spinners here so um, A lot of these are actually in stock right now So if you want to check the description box below for the link um, you should be able to find these in stock and uh, readily available. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully that helped explain as well as show you a couple different options available uh, within the spinners. So um, I'll probably have a couple more videos on a few different offerings coming up. But thanks for watching. Take care.